Hey everybody. Um, let me get out of this thing. There we are. Ah, hey Anastasia. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta turn on the amp. Oh, man. Hello. Ah. Anyways, uh, if you're uh, used to seeing me with more hair, uh, I went to the the haircut guy yesterday. Uh, Bentley at Limit One, the very best haircut guy, and we had a little misunderstanding. I said, "Can I get a blowout?" with an ombre on the outside and you shine the bald spot in the middle of my head and we're gonna call it a Porta del Sol and it'll just be like, you know, my head is like the sun. And, uh, and he, he gave me a haircut. A nice haircut. Shalom, Anastasia. Anyways, uh, there we are. Ah, how is everybody doing? Slow news weekend, am I right? Ah, oh well. I've, uh, I shared yesterday one of the things that I'm learning is not to get kind of paralyzed looking into the maw of the news cycle, the, the three hour news cycle, and just be like, ah. Um, I have to, you got to keep living your life. So that's my advice. Um, I learned, uh, I learned from not doing anything that it's better to do stuff. Hmm. Anyway. Hey, Ben, Ben, you're doing well, doing good. That's good. Um, anyways. What else do we have going on? Mora is getting me a water because I forgot it. I, I've been running around. Thank you, honey bunny. Here it is. Want to say hi to the peoples? Hello. There she is saying hello. She's like uh, George to my Gracie. Ah, oh, all right. Anyway. We're back. Um, I don't know if that uh, theme song type idea works, but it gives me a chance to uh, kind of, you know, get settled. Hey, Brandon, how are you? Hope things are well. Um, well, I thought uh, I would start today as I did yesterday with something that uh, I had never played in public before, um, except for yesterday. Um, it's an instrumental tune um, that I wrote when I was studying with uh, Joanne Brackeen, which is uh, B-R-A-A-C-K-E-E-N, great jazz piano player. Um, and while I was studying with her, I wrote a bunch of tunes and uh, I'm doing well thank you and um, and uh, I wrote this one and she said uh, oh this I like this one which was incredibly high praise from her because she was uh, she's tough as nails <laughs> oh man this haircut it's gonna take me a little while for the shape of my face and neck to adjust. Right now, I I feel a little like an extra in a, like a gulag picture or something. Uh, you know, one of the uh, guards. Oh, move over now. Oh. Mm, that's what haircuts do when they're, when they're really short, although it feels great. All right, here it is. It's a call it's a tune called Lead Off Hitter. And uh it's uh, it's a bit difficult for me, but I can do it. Goes like this. 
Is that music coming from next door? I didn't say it. Yeah. Oh well. All right. Here it is. <laughs> Well, it's a bit of a mess, but there it is. Oh, thank you, honey. That's beautiful, Stan. Hmm, well, it'll get there. About a half a year, half a year. Um, yes. Ah, uh, thank you for the bubbles. Hmm. Ah. Uh, well, uh, my son is here. It gives me some energy. He was just picking out, um... Oh! Hey, are they still here? I think they left. Ah. Oh. Why? I would have sung happy birthday for, uh, an Elijah. Tomorrow? Oh, well. Tomorrow's not her birthday. You can do it. And it will be on Facebook. She's not on Facebook. Okay. So sad. <laughs> Um, anyways. Well, everybody seems to be enjoying your music, sweetie. Ah, excellent. Anything else going on out there? No? Hmm. All right. Um, 
Well, here's one um, for, uh, I don't know, for all the, uh, the people that have just too much love for, for one person. And it goes like this. It's hard, yes it is. You've got so much love in your heart People like me, we got people to see In this world, we're doing our part Debbie's a girl at the office Though I don't know quite what she does once in a while she's got a secret little smile for me Just for me Sweet Melissa scrubs the cafe floor She's got a butterfly over her pants We shoot the breeze while she's on her knees And we giggle about romance Got so much love in your heart. So now, people, people like me, we got people to see in this world. We're doing our part. I believe. Brandon says encore. Ah, oh, thank you, Brandon. 
All right, let's see what else is up. Hmm, we're moving quickly through this set. Um, but, uh, it's because I don't know what to say about what's happening with the, the government falling apart and such. So, moving on. Here's a tune. This one's uh, on the uh, upcoming record, which I'm told should be available by Christmas. That would be great. All right, here we go. Wakey, wakey. Time to rise from the rest. Wakey, wakey. Time to greet the day with your best. You start with a test. Wakey, wakey, 
time to wake up, busy child. Wakey, wakey, to traffic and weather on the dial. Yes, I especially like the bells in the background. I thought they went. <laughs> they went? I thought they went well. The oh, yes, yes, yes. And with the song before that, they went too. It's, it's nice. Yes. Yes. Uh, um, is that on the iPad or no. just your phone? Just my phone. Oh, so maybe, maybe we'll put your phone in the living room. Mm. <sighs> Having a hard time focusing today. Mm. Anyway. Uh, but my screen seems frozen. Mm. Oh, well. Observe. Oh, yeah, that's frozen from way back. Really? Yeah, what do you mean, really? No, because I saw you. Why is that all red? Well... I'm going to start it over. Mm. Anyways. All right. Here's another tune. Looking in on me, but I don't know what he sees. Half paralyzed, no legs to run, no place to hide. A silver bullet gunsmith lies.
werewolf is outside my window. I wish he'd just come in and rip my skin. Outside my window, it doesn't scare me like it did when I was a kid. He's gray and slow, looking kind of. is my Like the swelling tide Silver bullet gunsmith Sure. <laughs> Gavin, cousin Gavin? Yeah, and Brandon says that he thinks that that song will be great, perfect for Halloween. It, it probably would be. And actually. Ben says, Brandon, did you know Nick was the voice of Mr. Salt in the original Blues Clues series? And Guru Prasad Singh is watching. Satnam. Satnam, baby! Mm. And I had to let Gavin know that that shirt is not my favorite. Mm. <laughs> it's one of mine. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback for this shirt. Just because people comment on the shirt doesn't mean they like it. Yeah, it does when they say, cool shirt, man. I, I heard it. And you know what Leo said? What? Wow, Dad, this is a great shirt. D did you, is that new? Really? Yeah, and I was like, no, I've had it for a long time, son. It's just that your mother doesn't like it. <laughs> so it only sees the light of day rarely. You did just miss the werewolf song. Oh, yeah, you missed it. Sorry. It's got a certain banana splits vibe, Gavin. That's right. <laughs> But you did, you did catch a little bit of the banana splits there, John, so there's always that. And if you like uh, dark and um, uh, devastating, dark and devastating, um, uh, I, 
I've got one for you. Ready? All right. People saying anything? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Hearts yeah. and things and blues clues. Oh God! It. I've got to find another co-host. She's reading the New Yorker. All right, here we go. There we go. It's all right. It's all right. It's not true. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> ah. Out of 
St. John's. They're good, honey. I moved mm -hmm. the bell away. I thought that the first bell worked really nicely. It really so. did. It, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, it took me out of it a bit, but uh, but it was in the right place. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know, odds are sometimes that'll work. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I should give you a set of bicycle horns and stuff. Is, is, uh, is anybody else in the house? Uh, Tiba. Um... Because I could, well, you can just do this. I, this is what I need for this next song. This next song uh, addresses uh, a sickness I think we can all agree that we all here have. And we've had it for quite a while now. And um, it's time we acknowledged it. So, honey, what I need you to do is this. Beat on the table. Um... Let's see. Just that. For how long? Honey. Here we go. Yeah. Nice and loud. Yeah, even louder. Here we go.
taking too long. That's right. And Brandon says, great job, love the clapping one. Oh. oh, yeah, you could have clapped. That would have been easier. I'm sorry. I didn't think of that. Although the sound of your hands on the hard wood, uh, you know, I know it's, it was painful, but it worked out. It sounded really good. Okay. That's any constellation. Yeah. Ah. There we go. Swivel. I like that song, honey. That was fun. Yeah. Huey Piano Smith and the Clowns, in case you're wondering. 1957. Rockin' Pneumonia and the Boogie Woogie Flu. Originally sung by Bobby Marchand, who was the singer in Huey Smith and the Clowns, and who was a female impersonator in New Orleans, though he was originally from Ohio. Bobby Marchand, that is. And uh, so uh, there you have it. Um, you know, not probably uh, not a candidate for the Proud Boys, but a uh, great singer nonetheless. And, um, and heck of a band. And when they went on tour, James Booker was the keyboard player. So uh, you can't beat that. Brandon says, it's guitar time, but it's not really a guitar. That's right. It's ukulele time. Let's... A bit of Cecilia. You are breaking my heart percussion. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's, that's what you were doing. You're right. Murray plays the guitar. You're breaking my heart. Both. It's both. Yeah. They got a lot of stuff going on in that tune, Cecilia. And they got a huica, which goes like... <laughs> the, the young kids on the screen here have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. When, when I was back your age, young ones, we played with a ball of string. I had seltzer for dessert. And, uh, when we had problem with our teeth, we had them taken out. It was easier. <laughs> and with that, uh, here's a here's a tune uh, about uh, exactly what ruined my life. School. Don't stay in school, kids. <clears throat> I'm joking, of course. Uh, half. B plus guy, I'm a B plus guy. More thoughtful than most, but not as thoughtful as any. I'm a B plus guy, I'm a B plus guy. I give away my thoughts for just under a penny. Got a case of silver medals in a pretty good house. I'm a B plus guy, I'm a B plus guy. Don't got an extra bed, but I got a fold down couch. I'm a B plus guy, I'm a B plus guy. I have a dream, a B plus dream. But not enough to make a muscle I'm a B plus guy I'm a B plus guy I work pretty hard But I hardly ever hustle Don't got a lot of money But I do okay I'm a B plus guy I'm a B plus guy Not living the dream yet But I will someday I'm a B plus guy I'm a B plus guy Someday Someday Some, some, someday I'm gonna get an A. 
so degrading. And there it is. I find myself an eternal B plus guy. I ah, think well. That's pretty generous. Uh, no, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, if I'm gonna pick one, that's what I'm gonna pick. I'm, you know, uh, I'm quite proud of it. Um, but, um, but the point is, we're all stuck with our grades, with the grades we get for, for our whole lives, I think. And it bothers me. God, does it bother me. I don't know. Maybe it shouldn't bother me. Maybe I should just sell it. Oh, God, my swivel is, is this in a state. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, where is Louise? God damn it. Hmm. I don't know why all of a sudden this has been an issue. It never was before. Why is it? Why is it now? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a tech person. There we are. That's a nice swivel. Ah. <sighs> well, I blew through the set today, and I only have one more song for you all. Um. It's early, right? That's okay by me, honey. I know. I... Wifey has things to do. My hands are hurting. Oh. <laughs> Is there an all emoji we can throw up for Mora? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Maybe the care, the care one. Let's throw up some care bubbles for Mora. Oh. Are you doing self-care? Yes. <laughs> oh, Lordy. There you go. All right. Oh, well, well, this is my one of, this is my favorite song. I think this is it. Wow. The one coming up. I love this one. Ah. So that makes me happy. And it's going to be on my eternally upcoming record, which is apparently not eternally upcoming. Because the mixer guy tells me that uh, that we can have this out by Christmas. Mm, wouldn't that be great? That'd be great. Mm. I'm going to have to jump on that, do the artwork and all that stuff. And come up with a title. Anybody got a title for me? Here's this next song. Came to 
to a clearing where George lived in the material world. There was a rose in the drive in front of the mansion. The driver said, We've been expecting you. You're right on time, take my Tasty, simple food was all on the table. Everyone was waiting as Danny passed the ladle to George, who smiled and prayed a prayerful prayer. He went into the air and we had. Looks were exchanged for crooked sly grins. Ukuleles and tablets were brought out of the bins. I could hardly contain my overflowing spirit, so I let it go to about the music that we make thanks to George and the day I fell suggests that you name your album Nick Balaban plays the songs he can. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Uh, anyway, and that is it for now. That was a fun little session. Yeah. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for uh, for being around. And I will see you next time. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue the Saturday thing, but I'll be back Friday, uh, Friday night. And if, uh, if that's a problem, if you can't see the Friday and you can only see the Saturday, let me know. All right. Until then, buh bye bye